Okay, let's get some actual graphics on our applet now, shall we? So what we're, where we're at right now is if we run the first game.htm, we get our pop-up, and when I click on it to activate it, I can press keys, and the keyboard responds to those specific keys. If I press any other key, it just doesn't do anything. Um, so if we go into first game, remember, like we said, is that when your applet is first started, it calls the paint method and paints anything that is, sorry, it calls the paint method and executes the code in there. So there is a graphics object, which is passed, and again, the, the technical details aren't as important, but we go into those in a great deal of detail in some more supplementary videos. But what we need to know is that the graphics object is what contains all the different methods that tells the computer how to draw things. So again, if we go to the internet and we pull up a quick, we go graphics class and Java 7. There's a wide variety of built-in methods here which do all sorts of things like draw polygons or draw, draw strings or draw or other draw ones. Draw a rectangle. And that's actually what we're going to use. We're, gonna, we're not going to draw a rectangle, though. We want to fill one in. So I'm going to fill rectangle. And we can see this here. Fill rec. So if I go G, because that's the graphic object, and then fill rec, and I set the X and Y position, so I'm going to set the X is 100 and the Y is 100, and I'm going to set the width as 10 and 10. And we build this and then we run this, what you'll see is there's my rectangle I've just drawn. Now something that's very important, and this is the same for almost all programming languages when you do graphics, is that the top left hand corner is th thought of as 0, 0. The horizontal direction is x. The vertical direction is y. But if we move from left to right we're increasing x and we move from top down I'm increasing y and that's very important so when I say I want to draw this rectangle you can see the line right here at 100 100 that means x position 100 across y position 100 down and that's the top left hand corner of that rectangle and then I want to draw a 10 by 10 rectangle so that's 10 pixels by 10 pixels so what I can do now is I can, instead of drawing this rectangle using 100, 100 as a position, I can make two more fields. So these are going to be um, black rectangle position fields. So I'm going to make a private integer, and I'm going to call it private int, I'm going to call it current x, and I'm going to set that initially to 100 private integer, I'm going to call it current y, and I'm going to set that to 100. So we can change this from 100 to 100 to current x, and I can change this to current y. I can build this, and it builds, and if I run my first game now, there's no difference. It looks the same. The only difference now is that as opposed to having the number 100 here, I've actually gone and used a variable to set that value. So if we think about this now from the user perspective, if I press the left key would take me in this direction, that means x is getting smaller. If I press the right key, which would take me in this direction, that means x is getting bigger. If I press the up key going in this direction, this means y is getting smaller. And if I press the down key, which would take the y in this direction, that would mean y is getting bigger. So now, since I have these listeners for my keystrokes, I can actually go and, and, and do something. So if the up button is pressed, I can change the current x can equal the current x. And if we're going up on the y-axis, we're going to subtract, let's subtract 10 because that's the, the width and length of this rectangle, so it will move one body length, so to speak. And I can do that for each each of these. So then I can say, if I press the down, I'm going to say current x is 
oh I'm sorry up and down should be current y current y the down should be current y should be the current y plus 10 and let's just leave it at that for now so let's see if I if I build this and I run this when I press the W key it should decrease the value of Y oh sorry if I run this and I press and I click in to activate it and I press the up key and nothing happens the reason nothing happens right now is because paint is only called when the the applet is first executed so there's a call to tell the program to recall the paint method and it's called repaint so if I put repaint at the bottom here now and I build this and I go to first game and I run this file and I press the W key oh I have to click inside you'll see now that it goes up and if I press the S key it goes down and in fact if I do this for both left and right as well so if I press the left key current X is equal to the current X minus 10 and if I say the right key current Y is sorry current X is equal to the current X plus 10 that will allow me to move left and right as well so remember the key thing here is this repaint every time I press a key it's going to execute this modify appropriately and then call repaint so if I say run this file now I can press I click into activate press D and it moves if I press and hold it will move as well and I can press up I can go down and now we're on the way to making an interactive program. I hope that helped.